Guys, Raid Shadow Legends has a brand new loyalty program. Log in for 14 days to collect a free legendary hero and collect her perfect soul. Now, they've done this many, many times in the past. You guys are well familiar with it. But this time around, we have a new Bannerlord. She is more of a progression hero. She's meant to help us, of course, to progress in the dungeons early on and mainly for the Sand Devils Necropolis. We have Chronicler Aidlin from the Bannerlord, support champion, of course, a legendary and she is Force Affinity. She has pretty good base stats all around. Now, with the A1, she has a chance to transfer a random debuff from the champion to the enemy. Then with the A2, she gives a, a big healing to your entire team based on her own HP, and she restores the destroyed HP. That's pretty good for the Sand Devils Acropolis, can be pretty good for the Hydra, can be pretty good for the Fire Knight. Then you have the A3, you have a chance to slip the enemy, then you put a decreased speed, you put a decreased attack, and... Debuffs placed by this skill cannot be blocked by block debuffs. And you have the passive. Allies deal 3% more damage to targets for each debuff placed on them by this champion, which makes her actually pretty effective against the Sand Devil Necropolis. You have an accuracy aura in all battles. You're gaining 60 extra accuracy to help you out, especially early on. This is actually very, very helpful. Let me just quickly show you the build. So first I decided to try her on a shield set, guys. So I have her on a bolster and a speed set. This is honestly the best build for progression, hands down. You're going to generate a massive shield for your team and she's going to get some healing whenever she's taking a turn, ensuring that she's not going to die anytime soon. Now, I currently have her with 85,000 HP, 2,200 attack, 3,355 defense, 238 speed the more speed the better i don't have crit rate or crit damage she's not meant to be a damage dealer right she's meant to uh, help and support the team give us some healing uh, put some debuffs on the enemies so you do need accuracy for that i have 292 accuracy of course if i can get more accuracy is actually going to be good it really depends what stage i'm trying to defeat right so uh if i cannot get a a very high amount of accuracy i can always use her uh aura which is helpful then we have the masteries i decided to go for defense and support three rather than go for offense and take war master so we went with pinpoint accuracy charge focus we're gonna land quite a few debuffs so we went for arcane celerity uh lore of steel have of course master hexer to extend the duration of debuffs timely intervention to get some thermometer whenever our allies uh get low on hp whenever they get big hits and i haven't went for counter attack just because most probably, I will try her in the Sand Devils Necropolis. I know a lot of you guys will end up in using her there because she's going to be pretty, pretty awesome for progression in there. So I decided instead to uh, go with Cycle of Revenge and have no counterattack to ensure that nothing, uh, nothing bad happens in there. Now, if you guys want to get this free Legendary Champion, guys, you can download Raid Shadow Legends by clicking the link in the description down below. On top of it, if you download with that link, you're going to get a couple of awesome epic champions as well you're gonna be able to get uh, tyrell once you complete the tutorial and you're gonna be able to get rector dread uh, once you reach level 25 but enough with all the talking let's take chronicler alien in for a spin in dungeons and see how well she can help us with our progression i know the majority of you guys are still struggling with the sand devils necropolis i feel like she can definitely be uh quite helpful in here she brings the sleep right she is Force Affinity, good for stage 25 for whenever you're getting there. She puts three debuffs on the boss. Now, this boss works a bit differently compared to the other dungeon bosses. The more debuffs on him, the more damage you're going to deal. If no, if you have no debuffs, your champions will barely deal any damage. Like how you may notice, the, the hits are not looking as good anymore, you know? So, uh, having a champion like her to put asleep and extra debuffs at the same time, I think that... Uh, is a very very interesting uh, mechanic on a skill you know so uh i will try her on a, a higher stage as well guys to see how she's going to work with the big boy champions like newt acrisia and the rest but for that i will have to change her build on a toxic set but right here she's actually working pretty good and having that shield set uh we're basically going to keep the team alive on the first impact when the boss is using the a3 and uh it will be like this uh for pretty much all of these stages while we're basically progressing through the Sand Devils Necropolis. So that sleep is actually great on her. Let me just quickly show you a different run, for example. So if we're going to go uh, in the Dragon, you know, progression-wise, you need to have some healers for most of these stages. So this being a free champion, guys, like 
hey, it's kind of like a no-brainer. Yes, I'm going to get it and use it, no? If I need it, especially. So let's actually go in with a team like this. It's stage 20, right? So I'm not uh, doing anything too crazy, but it's just the healing that we're getting from her. Of course, we do have Apothecary to assist us a bit more with the increased speed and increased Terminator to allow, uh, allow us to uh, rotate a bit more. Now, this champion with the A1 will basically transfer debuffs back to... Uh, to the target. So the dragon will put poisons on us or weaken. We're going to uh, transfer them uh, back to to him, basically, you know, and uh, that's actually helpful too. I have no weaken on this team to allow me to deal more damage on uh, on uh, on the boss. So her A1 will basically get that job done. And there we go. The waves are not that, uh, that hard. We have the decrease attack. Of course, sleep is not going to work against this boss. It only works against the Sand Devil Necropolis, but we have that decrease attack. Uh, it's pretty, pretty helpful for uh, for bosses. Decrease attack is one of the most important uh, debuffs when you're progressing through the game. And then, of course, having increased speed, increased accuracy is, is really, really good for uh, for your champions. You see, we just transferred the weaken back to the boss with the A1. That's actually really, really nice. We transfer the poison back. And if you guys are familiar with the dragon, which probably you all are, you know that. When he unlocks that secret skill, having poisons on is actually very, very beneficial because um, you're going to get to uh, take the dragon out of that uh, ang uh, anger phase, you know, and uh, you're going to be able to uh, survive the impact. Like, there we go. Hidden secret skill unlocked. Uh, I have no poisons to transfer right now, unfortunately. It would have been nice if we, if we had a few more <laughs> to transfer on, uh, on the boss, but we do have now. We just transferred the weaken again and... That's what she can do. Give you the healing with the A2 is nice. Decrease attack and uh, get the job done while you're progressing uh, through the game, you know? Now, if we're trying Chronicler Aidlin in one of the big boy teams, guys, I actually removed my CP out of the team for her. I removed Raiho. I got uh, Lydia in here. So I have defense down, weak and increased speed because I'm going to need all, uh, all this, of course. And we're going to have sleep. We're going to have different debuffs from uh, Aidlin. And we're going to have the extra damage from her passive, which should increase the damage on my Acrisia. Now, the main issue that I used to have with Acrisia in this, uh, in this dungeon was that she's not hitting the cap, right? Like, sometimes I struggle to get her to get the job done. Now, she's still pretty much at the same situation, honestly, and uh, we are getting the boss down because she's taking the, the next turn. 16 turns, 23 seconds. The problem with uh, Aidlin in here is that she can get resisted on the sleep, okay? Unlike Sifi. So that can actually cause us uh, uh, more issues. We have a higher chance to fail in here when we are doing this dungeon. So probably I will not, I will not use her in here over Sifi. Like, yeah, most probably not. Even with that extra damage, uh, I feel like it's just not worth the trade-off uh, to increase a bit Acrisia's damage, but then at the same time to... Uh, increase my failure chance uh, because she can get uh, resisted with uh, with the A1. But if you don't have the other champions that can get the job done for you, right, and you're in a situation like this, this will actually work just fine. It's probably not going to be the most reliable team out there, but it will get the job done at least to allow you to complete the tournaments, put your hand on some dust to uh, reroll your ascensions, you know, so... What I had to do in here for this team, guys, for example, was that I had to decrease a bit the speed on uh, my damage dealers on Kaimar just to ensure that the boss will take a turn before I'm taking uh, the turn with the damage dealer. So his Termiter drops back to zero. So then I can overlap him. If not, he's going to use the nuke and kill my, uh, my team. So Acrisia is at 223 speed. Nuke is at 226. Uh, Lydia at 276, she doesn't matter. She just needs to debuff before the sleep expires, right? Aidlin being the fastest, I changed a bit the build on her. I put her on a toxic set, but for whatever reason, I think the toxic set just doesn't work with her, guys, because I, I've tried probably 10 plus runs to see if the toxic set drops on, uh, on the boss, and uh, I've seen no poisons. That's an extra debuff that can help, but it seems like because she is putting that... Uh, sleep right she's putting the sleep uh the rest of the debuffs are following after i feel like the way she's coded uh, to work with the gear sets it doesn't allow the champion to put the poison probably she's attempting to put the poison before she's attempting to put the sleep you know it's just a coding uh, situation and kaimar 
he's at 221 speed, the slowest. Just in case, if any of you guys will uh, reproduce this uh, team in the in the future, you know, uh, I will quickly show you the the build. So how I mentioned is a toxic set. I have a perception. I have pretty high accuracy because I need that sleep to uh, land. I want to make sure it's not gonna not gonna get resisted or reduce the chance as much as possible. So we have like uh, 588 accuracy now. Master is we went with the uh, Eagle Eye as tier six just to gain that extra accuracy and uh, allow us to basically make uh, a better build. Now the toxic set it just doesn't seem to work on her so. It's not a it's not a good idea to try her uh, like this. At least I know I've tried her. You guys know uh, as well. But that's pretty much everything on Chronicler Aitlin. I think she's great for progression. Uh, she's not that insane for endgame, but she can help you in the Sand Devils Necropolis if you're struggling. And we are getting some rework done to the Sand Devil Necropolis boss and a few other dungeons in the near future when she's actually going to be even more relevant in uh, in the dungeon. So I'm looking forward to see what those uh, changes are now how i mentioned if you want to download raid shadow legends you can do so by using the link in the description down below or in the pin comment guys and if you are a new player you're gonna put your hand on two amazing epic champions one of them being tyrell he's amazing for clan boss early on for dungeons because he's bringing more decrease attack uh, he's bringing defense down termiter manipulation a bit of a stun on some of the enemies you're gonna have a defense aura so he was massive for my account when I started playing Raid Shadow Legends. So you're going to get this once you complete the tutorial. And then you can get Rector Dread from the Night Revenant, another amazing epic champion. She's a very, very good uh, support. You're going to get a lot of healing from her. She's actually going to revive as well if you need it. You're going to get a Veil. Uh, she has a lot of healing actually in, uh, in her kit. More decreased attack from her A1. And she can be helpful in Hydra for progression early on. Even in the clan boss as well and other dungeons where you need a reviver for arena. She's going to be very, very annoying. But you're going to get her when you actually reach level 25. That was all for the video, guys. Much love. Appreciate all of you watching. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Raid Shadow Legends content, news, guides, tips and tricks. Everything that you need to know about the game. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.